Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome to another Minecraft stream. Uh, let's see. So last time we ended in this cave down here. Uh, we had a, had a bit of a bad ending with some diamondium going into the lava. <laughs> um, this time I, I dug a little little ways up just because I think we're, we want to get out of this cave at this point. Um, and then I poked up at a cave, and so I decided to block it off, and I'll be like, eh, I'll save that for the stream. Sounds like there's stuff here. I could get wrecked pretty, pretty early. Let's see. See what happens. We got one other person on the server with, oh god, with us. Okay. Zombie we can handle, and I saw a skelly. Not a problem. You weren't here last week because of your job training at Universal where you're at Diagon Alley. Nice. That's really cool. I have not been to any of the Harry Potter Universal stuff. I haven't been to Universal since they added that. Hey, Mac. How you doing? How's Blue? <laughs> uh, hello, Ryan. Remember when my... Yes, yes, yes. I just got done talking about that. Um... But yeah, just as an FYI to everyone, this is going to be a relatively short stream. Um, it's going to be an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today and this week. But I wanted to make sure I got some Minecraft in, because we only have this server for six more days. Ooh. So. Ooh, did someone put a Taco Bell in? There was a KFC here. Um, so yeah. <laughs> hello, Titan. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Tommy. Uh, did I see Wizard City? It was out? I didn't know it was out yet. Uh, HBO Max has been doing a terrible job at letting me know that a new Adventure Time stuff is out. No, I didn't even know it was out. When did they drop it? I don't know what it is. I see tons of ads for HBO Max stuff on Twitter and just around the internet. But then I never know when the things I've been looking forward to actually drop. Hello, Anthony. It came out last night. Okay. So I don't have to feel like I really missed anything. Uh, yeah, no. What is that sound? Is that just random cave noises? It sounded like... Perry the platypus was was a ghost. Um, but yeah, I'll certainly be watching that when I get a chance. Exciting stuff. What'd you think of it, Ryan? Without giving away any spoilers, please. I assume you saw it. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Faith. Oh, yeah, Faith's on a little adventure right now. I'm not sure if it's a real adventure or just inside her mind, but, you know, she's having a good time. Uh, um, it was really good. That's great. That is great. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the BMO special was good. Not, like, amazing, but good. And I didn't think Bimo was really much of a character to, to carry a storyline. So maybe the Peppermint Butler one could be good too. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my hat today. You guys remember the, the classic Pie Guy hat? <laughs> the Back to the Future hat? Uh, um... Yeah, my hair is kind of a mess. I need a haircut. Oh, wow. This is this cave system got crazy. I guess we're just going to stay in here. Seems like a fun thing to do today. Just keep caving. Um, yeah, I figure it'd be nice to try to fight the Ender Dragon. Uh, yeah, the server's up in six days, so... I don't know. Has anyone made any progress on that? Uh, you have limited data, see so you... Aw. I'll see you, Faith. Good luck with everything. She's off doing important work. Oh, gosh. Fighting the power. And all that. 
This is this has gotten to be a bad situation. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. And I don't know. Oh god, I can't see anything. Alright, if I could just kill the Okay. Okay. We should be fine. There's a spider. That's not good. Oh god. There's just another skeleton somewhere. H how are you hitting me? Ah! Where's my... How are you hitting me this... Oh. Oh my god. Where are my torches? They're just... They're gone. Okay. That's fine. That was a really bad situation. <laughs> uh, uh, you would have preferred, prince preferred Princess Rainicorn or Flame Princess Simon or Shermie or Beth specials to BMO. Yeah. But BMO is like a mascot character. They kind of have to include them. This is, this is turned into a real bad situation here. Real fast. Zombie apocalypse. All right. Uh, let's fully regen before we join the fray. Um, oh, yeah, but I'm wearing my, my hat just because I, I need a haircut pretty badly. And I'm wearing it sideways, uh, not just because I'm totally radical, but also because I uh, if I have it front way, the brim just, like, adds an eerie shadow to my face thanks to the lighting. Like, I look here. I'm like, ooh, spooky. <laughs> I look like I'm, I'm about to do something really dark in an anime. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's see what we got going on out here. Okay. Just a lot. There's just a lot. There's two skellies. I hear a spider somewhere. Go cut my hair. Mm. You, got, you got shears? Yeah, like I said, I've just been busy. I haven't had the time to get a haircut. <laughs> Called it. I hear more zombies. This, this cave is pretty nuts. Oh my gosh. Jeez. You know what it is? It's because I'm on the server with not a lot of people, comparatively. So all the mobs are spawning on me right now. Uh. Ever heard of Casey's Cave? Nope. Never heard of it. That's fine. You can just explode over there. It's okay. My inventory is pretty full, so we might... Hmm. I don't know. We might need to head back. I don't know, though. It's, it's exciting to find a fun cave, so... I have been too busy to get a haircut in Lego City. Uh, yep. uh, also, I don't believe the person is here right now, so I won't say who it is, but there has been someone from the server um, who has basically offered to do like a spiritual successor to this server. Kind of an unofficial Pie Guy Minecraft server. Um, one that I, I won't be managing in any way, but I'll be playing on. Um, so yeah, hopefully that person will follow through on their plans. They might get a, just a regular server, not even a realm. Um, so we can all keep playing together. That would be pretty dope. Yeah, I can't really justify... Um... Man, there's so many mobs. I can't really justify paying for the server, to be honest. Um... It just doesn't... Uh, these These Minecraft streams don't bring in really any money. So, um, and I don't know that they're really my best material, to be honest with you. Uh, Minecraft streaming takes, I don't know, there's like a certain skill to be entertaining and still be able to like get stuff done in Minecraft that I don't, I don't think I have. Um, I could definitely like mindlessly cave and talk about random stuff and I enjoy doing that, but you know, as far as like redstone contraptions and, and making builds and all that stuff, like it's... I don't know. I don't need that. Uh, thank you, Secret Pie Minecraft Guardian Angel. Yeah. So, hopefully they'll follow through with that. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'd migrate this particular world or just start with a new one. But don't you don't you say his name? Don't you don't you say his name in chat there, Spherical Josh? He is a, a person I do not like. company hasn't been doing so well the crew miss hmm have I ever thought about checking out Muppets take Manhattan um I, no <laughs> I don't know um I haven't really seen a lot of Muppet movies the ones I have seen were nice though not a big movie guy Hope, hope any, uh, hope all of you are all right after the big, uh, big storm hit the Northeast this past week, and I guess continuing this week. I don't know where you guys are located, but it's, uh, had a lot of family and friends that are like, hey, look, look how flooded things are. Uh, I saw a picture of the Newark airport, and, like, the first floor is, oh, god, Woo! Uh, the first floor of the airport is just underground. This might be our way out here. I'm I'm going back and forth as to whether I want to actually find a way out or not. Um, so yeah, it's been a little scary. Muppet Family Christmas. Have I considered watching that? No. <laughs> I don't, uh, the laggies. Oh, and we go back down. We go up and we go down. <laughs> Hurricane, yeah. Yep. It's crazy stuff. Weather be crazy. Can we find more diamonds here by this lava? And then and then yeet them into the lava? To the clams gurgle in the bucket. Mm. Tested negative for COVID. That's good. I had to do a uh, COVID test a few weeks ago. Um, fortunately, it was also negative. The uh, the problem with COVID, one of the problems, is just that the symptoms of it are basically every symptom of every like, you know. Uh, illness ever <laughs> like it's like fever chills vomiting diarrhea runny nose stuffy nose uh, like it's like you know uh headache feeling woozy like it's just like everything so i was having i was having a uh, bad illness and i was like you know what, it's probably not COVID, and it wasn't, because it was definitely, like, more stomach-based. But I decided to just get checked out, just in case. Sore throat. Yeah, that's one. But some symptoms of COVID are more common than others, and those are the ones that you have to worry about coughing and the wheezing and the, and the Ekans and Arbucks. <laughs> uh. mm. More torches again. Burn through them so fast. Literally. Ever heard of Moon Base Commander? Nope. Can't say that I have. Let's see. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I've been editing the recast. It's a lot of audio. It's a lot. Monsters and I talked for a very long time. Whoa. But it was it was really fun. Um, it was kind of just like old times, really. Like the banter kind of picked back up where it was. I feel like Monsters and I make a particularly good team. Uh, not really any audio issues except for the fact that... Uh, ooh. My voice... I don't know why I said that weirdly. My voice... But my voice was a little, uh, a little hoarse at the beginning, just just because uh, I was just really tired. Like I said, been busy. So if I sound a little like scraggly towards the beginning, uh, it's just because of um, it's just because I was tired. But I don't think it sounds too bad or noticeable. I don't know if anyone would really notice if I didn't say anything. So yeah. Um. today thank you is that shooting a gas ball back at a gas i think no that might be return to sender hmm uh the recast is is getting a reunion not really a revival you know we've said it all along or, or at least i have that i much prefer when these shows do these like reunion movie things you know like the Rocco one or the Invader Zim one or whatever I, I think I think that's just a much better to, way to relive the nostalgia and kind of do a big fun celebration versus like the Powerpuff Girl reboot route of just like here let's make an entirely new series that really dilutes everything oh Ooh, gotta make a new pick um Good thing I had just enough for a crafting bench. Could have been problems. I guess I might as well. No, because that'll create another. Hmm. Let me do a redstone block. Yeah. Turns three stacks into two. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna have just enough for this. And I. Uh. I guess. I guess I'll smelt some iron here. Well, cartoon should get a revival special next. Gravity Falls. Well, you're in luck with Avatar, because <laughs> that is. Um, I believe that's getting a movie. But, um, yeah, Gravity Falls. I, I don't want a season three, but I would be very happy with some sort of, like, reunion special. Put Mending on your pick. I This one? That's the plan. All right, Mac. You can you can stop telling me what to do now. Oh, I I have a huge stack of iron on me. Okay. Um, kind of. Yeah, I guess I will bring this with me. One piece of wood isn't really that useful. Oh, we don't know if that movie focuses on the original gang. Yeah, but with Avatar, with that production house in effect, certainly at least one of the specials is going to be about the OG gang. Hot stuff. It's okay, Mac. I've just played Minecraft before. <laughs> I'm also trying to be like, you know entertaining and stuff not really min maxi especially because the server is closing in six days yes yeah, so i uh i tweeted today about how i'm just kind of i'm getting a little sick of spongebob memes and references and it's like I don't know really what there's nothing to do about it because you can't you can't be on the internet and not hear SpongeBob references and jokes and stuff like that. And I like making them sometimes. It's just some of them get really like 
they're just very repetitive and there's other things to reference in the world you know <laughs> i don't know it's just kind of annoying and then of course uh got one person who loved to chime in and was like Ugh, i'm sick of how much you talk about spongebob spin-offs and it's like well if you're sick of it you know maybe realize that i haven't done it in a while and you commenting about it is it makes me want to talk about it more but like i wouldn't have talked about it otherwise i don't know i just blocked the person but it's just like so annoying that anytime i do anything that mentions spongebob i always get like a few comments a few tweets from people who are like oh but what about the spin of the i want to argue with you about something that you haven't talked about in a while and you've already made your opinion pretty pretty clear in a video i don't know man luckily i feel like it's died down but i don't know that it ever will die entirely and i try not to let my i try not to let that affect my opinion you know just of how i feel about the show or or whatever but it's hard sometimes when you have the community from that show constantly annoying you about various things when oh oh we found a desert um oh and a pyramid nice Let's see if it's already been explored oh hey pinata time yeah i'm wearing the back to the future hat Let's not step on that. Okay. Now, the problem here is we got so much stuff already. Um, definitely want the saddles. I guess we don't need the cobblestone or sandstone, diorite, granite. Don't need any of that crud. Take the bones, though. Diamonds. There we go. That makes up for the one that we may have destroyed, possibly. Um, boop, and a boop. Now, let's also grab this. Uh, hmm. I guess I can just make more torches. Um, large part of the Spongebob fandom are young kids and teens. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it, it is true. And I try to remember that. Um, but it's just really, it's just so irritating when you have people who want to argue with you about a subject, but it's not a subject that they've actually like done any re it's, it's just, it's just a gut feeling. I feel like so many of these people argue based on just a gut feeling of, you know, whatever do you play minecraft back when you set off tnt by punching it uh yeah prime tnt was a real nightmare every time i punch tnt i'm always a little afraid it is gonna go off all right um which way do you want to head yeah this is the right way we got we got quite a bit from spawn so let's journey back yeah that's twitter <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't know. I just, I wish people could understand at least that, like, I'm a person, you know, and, and you can absolutely disagree with me or, or want to argue or what, you know, whatever. But it's just like, at the end of the day, I'm a person, you know, and I, I, I never said anything that I said because I want to hurt anyone or make anyone feel bad or, or, or anything, you know? I said what I said because I, I feel like the creator of the show has been wronged by a company who will stop at nothing but to just kind of suck the soul out of everything. And yeah, you know, if I'm wrong on all of it, then I'm wrong on all of it. But I, I never intended to hurt anyone or, um, you know, make anyone feel bad, harass anyone, anything like that. And I don't think I've done any of that. Um the worst was after after vincent whaler said 
that he didn't remember whether Hillenburg knew or not. Um, I made a tweet that was just kind of like, can we please get some answers, please? Um, but I didn't really mean to direct that at Whaler. I meant, I just meant that in a general sense of, I spent like a week working nonstop on this video, you know, trying to get to the bottom of this mystery and I couldn't get to the bottom of it. And then he says something the day after the video is released. And then, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I work again another night on trying to you know, put out a video to correct everything and, and right the wrongs. And then he comes out and says, oh, actually, I didn't really know. You know, it was just it was just a very frustrating situation. But I never intended to direct that frustration at Whaler. And I, I deleted that tweet and apologized. But some people still bring that tweet up as if I have was trying to harass Whaler or, or something like that. But... <sighs> it's kind of funny because the uh the situation has definitely freed it's freed me from being bugged about the season 11 video because most of the spongebob fandom doesn't really want to hear from me anymore which is completely fair um i'm glad that that's happened but as a, as a curse it just seems like i'll never be free of people uh you know bugging me harassing me trying to start an argument without actually understanding what my position is um yeah I know. I talk about this way too much. It just it just gets to me sometimes. It's just upsetting. But like with all things, it, it'll it'll die down at some point. And it, it's certainly gotten less and less over time. Steven Universe, the movie turned two years old today. Wow. That's wild. It feels like just yesterday we were doing that uh, recast episode. <laughs> Ed, your story is getting weird. See, there you go. Ed and Nitty references. Now there's something that never gets old. <laughs> oh, I see a weenie tower there. That might have been something I built, actually. To mark where the geode was, maybe? Looks like we're getting back to civilization. It's good to know that there is a desert uh, just beyond there. Hey, Dre. Oh, yeah, here's Civilization. The Adventure Time finale turned three. Wow. You may join later, but you're writing a script. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see, it's 4.30. Yeah, my plan is to go for another half hour. Again, I know it's a shorter stream. Didn't mean... Oh, gosh. If I had more time, I would. But I've got... Uh, I got stuff to take care of. Chores. What is this over here? Someone make, oh, someone's making something. Looks neat. Uh, did you see the new Avatar stuff's gonna be CG? No, I didn't. That's, mm, not the worst. I mean, you know, it, it could certainly work. Uh, but, I don't know, something that was, like, Avatar and Korra are known for is just really stellar 2D animation, so... You know, if they could bring their... A Please don't drown, Mr. Horse. If they could bring their A-game with CG animation, that's great. But, um... See, what would you say is your favorite Lost episode we will probably never see? Not a creepypasta, just Lost episodes. I don't know that I have one, to be honest. I don't know what some of the more infamous Lost episodes are. Um... CB. The cake bucket. Better than the pio. Hey! This is probably Max doing again. You know what? I'm gonna park my horse in here. That's my horse. Uh, not to be confused with the dimmed. Because <laughs> it's the pio dome. Nice. I better, I better finish this here. Um... So maybe that's what we'll do next. Avatar Ung. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's dump all this stuff. Um and then let's go out and get more glass, I think. Cause we got some here. But now that we know where there is a 
desert, we can get a lot more. Uh, let me stock up on pies. I never fix this. <laughs> I should make a, I need to make an ax. But I need wood. Ah. Actually, I'll just, I'll just grab this. Um. You type the Doug Dimmodome thing in chat, but you're too lazy. Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome? That's right, Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. The Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome? <laughs> yeah, that parents does have some real gems. Absolutely. Is there another stream tomorrow or Saturday? Um, Not tomorrow. I'm not sure about the weekend. Like I said, been busy. Uh, nice. Glad that this worked. I guess I don't really have to harvest all this stuff. We got more than enough sugar cane. Yeah, I know. I want to finish the Steven Universe game, but I've just I've had so much to do. Um, hey, get get out of here! What are you doing? Peeping at my chest. Um, any more pumpkins anywhere? No. All right. But yeah, I've just I've had so much to do, so I might end up having to do Steven Universe on weekdays, um, or on a weekday, just because weekends have have gotten a lot worse for me. So, I don't know. We'll see. But we'll probably finish it up in the next one or two part. You got the horses in the back? Notice anything about you? Oh, is this netherite armor? Nice. Congrats. Good job. Hey, where my horse? Did, Did you put my horse in the back? <laughs> really? Hat is diamond blue. Legs are blue to match. What are you doing? I needed that. Oh my god. Dude. God dang it. Give me my horse. I should have taken the saddle off it. Oh no, I hit the horse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Took a whole week to get it. Wow, congrats. Yeah, that stuff is not easy to find. Alright. Alright. Mess with the horse, you get the diamond sword. Actually, was it this? Yeah, it was this way. The horse is not the fastest way of traveling over water, I will say. Yeah. Family Guy has a lost episode that was controversial. Is it the episode that's DVD only? I don't know if that's really lost. Crash Nebula on Ice. Oh gosh, this is not working. This was this was a mistake. I should have gone the mountain route. Horses at the glue factory. No, it's not Bojack. Eh, come on, move it, horsey. Oh, let's see what else has been going on in the world of cartoons. I saw they announced SpongeBob's move set uh, for cartoon for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Um, it looks okay. <laughs> it's funny I saw someone say like, "Wow, you really you really put in the the work with these references," and it's like, I don't know, did they? The Imagination Rainbow is certainly not a deep cut as far as SpongeBob references go. Like, I'm not saying that it's a bad move set or anything, but I don't really think it has any obscure references or anything. Um, it's also funny that everyone's getting this hyped up over a Nickelodeon knockoff of Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Again, I, I hope it's good. I really do. But like, I don't know, guys, there's a good chance that it's just going to be absolute garbage. And everyone who's hyped themselves up is going to be super disappointed. Um, favorite favor of pizza. I, I like Buffalo chicken pizza the best. To be honest, um, although I also like plain pizza, which I guess is margarita to people, 
I don't know. I just call it plain pizza. It's just like cheese and sauce. Oh. Ooh. Hello there. Already been looted. Sad day. Um. Yeah. Pizza's good. I like I like getting plain, especially if it's something I'm gonna microwave. Uh, I like to have again. Oh gosh. It'll only be good if you neutron was in it. You nation will rise. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, that's that's true too, Mac. If it's, I mean, listen, I'm probably gonna have to get it to stream, right? You guys, you guys want to see me play this game? It's it'd probably be good for the channel too. Um, why did I take my horse through this forest? <laughs> I might have to abandon this horse. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This might happen. Bojack, buddy. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to play it. And, yeah, even if it isn't great, if it is bad in a funny way, that'd be good, too. I'm sick of the mentality that just because it's similar to Smash Brothers, it's got to be good. Yeah. I mean, that's true. <laughs> There is no, there is nothing guaranteeing, other than, I guess the only really good sign is just that it does seem like the people behind it are, like, like, playing into the hype, you know? Like, they're not just, uh, you know, just saying, like, hey, we're gonna put out this game, here's the characters in it, you know, whatever. Like, they're actively announcing characters, and they're, there's an effort behind it, which definitely does suggest that it won't be, oh gosh. That it won't just be like a throwaway, you know, fighting game like Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion or whatever. Here's a real question, Pie Guy. When you order pizza, do I get regular sauce or extra sauce? Um, just regular sauce. I like my sauce like I like my shows. Regular. Actually, I don't really like regular show, so. But I don't like the extra show either, so. Would Bulby from Jimmy Neutron be in Nick Smash Bros? I don't know. I also like calling it Nick Smash Bros. Uh, it's just transparent. I mean, how many Nickelodeon games have we played on this channel that are just blatant rip-offs of other games? Like the the You Draw SpongeBob WarioWare or the the weird iCarly I Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, um, are we going to get hilariously lost? I don't recall seeing this area. Hmm. Either way, we're on an adventure. You had a friend who used to get everything on his build your own at a local pizza place. Oh wow! Yeah, no, my my palate's definitely. I'm I'm way more picky. Half the time it would fall apart in the oven. <laughs> That's funny. I meant uh, was even though it's not gonna be as good, it could still be fun. Oh, you're 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 arguing the opposite. I mean. The mentality that just because it's a ripoff of Smash Bros, it's going to be good. I feel like that's the, I feel like that's the prevailing sentiment, which is weird to me. But because usually people aren't a big fan of knockoffs, but people really, really, really love SpongeBob and Nickelodeon stuff. So uh, even though it's not going to be as good, it could still be fun. I mean, yeah, I just I think there's more evidence to say it's probably going to be garbage than not. Um, mostly just the big backlog of Nickelodeon games and their quality. Hmm. Where is this desert? Oh, gosh. What are your, what's your favorite desert in a cartoon? Mine is the desert from Avatar. You think Cartoon Network would be a, uh, better with a Smash clone? Well, don't worry, because... I'm pretty sure they had their own Smash clone as well. And I plan to get any racing games this year, like Hot Wheels Unleashed or Forza. No, I'm not really a big uh, racing person. I did buy the Sonic racing games this year. Not that they were released this year, but that, those came as a part of my bundle. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not really a big racing guy. I've even kind of soured on... on Not soured, but I'm, I'm not really a big uh, Mario Kart person either. That was the one racing game that I did enjoy, but I don't know. I'm just kind of over it, to be honest. Hey, a goat. <laughs> Friendly mushroom. Llamas in pajamas. I, I, I think we may have gone the wrong way. <laughs> 
giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly. Yeah, that's the line. All right, we're gonna we're gonna climb up to the tallest mountain here, and see if we see any desert. Do not see desert. We may have made a grave error. Besides SpongeBob in the Loud House, what else on Nickelodeon is everyone watching? Uh, nothing from me. <laughs> it's gonna be a nothing from me. But I think It's Pony came out. People were talking about that show. Modern Cart Network Smash would be interesting. Oh gosh. The one from 10 years ago had Flapjack Knuckles as the newest characters. Wow. Man, a lot's changed in Cartoon Network in 10 years. That's crazy. Favorite desert is the one from Teen Titans Homecoming. Hmm. Do not remember that. Well, you know what? I think we went the wrong way, but I'm, I'm committed. We're just going to go this way and see what happens. We got like 20 minutes. What could possibly go wrong? With this water, man. I am so sick of these this water. You know what? We're going to turn. One time you need leather, you can't find any cows. Oh, man. Didn't we have a cow pen in town? I feel like we did, but maybe they all died. I remember last time I tried to harvest them, I ended up killing the stupid iron golem. <laughs> uh... Desert from Adventure Times, the others, the other tarts. <laughs> so it's a fine desert and a fine episode. I feel like Cartoon Network would work better as a fighting game because they have more shows about characters that fight. Yeah, but isn't isn't the point for Nickelodeon fighting game really just that the characters aren't fighters generally? Like that's kind of the funny thing about it. Oh, hey, Rayo Ken. How are ya? Six, six days before the server is Kaputski. That's a lot of coal. You rewatched the Steven Universe Zoo arc last night. Oh, how's that hold up? Alright, I think we turn back now. I feel like this, I, I, from my memory, the zoo arc was real fun. When Steven Universe is doing arcs, that's that's generally when it's at its best. When it's actually following up on things. Come on, Horsey, you can do it. You can swim. Oh yeah, the uh, someone mentioned it. The Rick and Morty finale is on Sunday. I'm I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully they don't make mention Rick Dependent Spray again. <sighs> that episode, man. Oh, another village. Ah. Let's loot it. Hmm. Are we going to do the end at some point, or did someone already beat it? Oh, when did you join? Oh, you just joined. Um, As far as I know, no one's actually beaten it. It'd be nice to do it, but I, I personally haven't made any progress towards it, so. Hey, congrats on getting that vaccine. Yeah, a lot of people forget that there's still a lot of people out there that can't get the vaccine because they're immunocompromised or uh, they're too young. Too well because you had the virus. Mm, that too. Yeah, apparently you can't get it for a while after actually having the virus. Yeah, I've, I've got a friend uh, who can't, he can't get vaccinated for a little bit just because he had it not too long ago. Is there really no chests in this village? Ah. Dang it. I hope someone already looted this place, because that would just be disappointing if it was just one flower in there. Alright, where's my horse? Uh, 
there you are. Hi ho, Bojack. You wouldn't call it an arc because it was only three episodes, but that's just the Are you talking about the zoo? The Steven Zoo universe? I thought that was five. From the time they decide they're going to the zoo, or from, from when Greg gets kidnapped, and then they go to the zoo, and then they come back from the zoo. <laughs> Gonna go scout the stronghold? Nice. Nice, nice. See how many eyes of Ender we need... It's a good idea. See if anyone's been there. Hopefully, hopefully no one has. I don't really know. How, like, I wish if I was on a regular server, I could pretty easily just reset the end. But on a realm, I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, the bird person episode was great. That was the definitely the best of the season. Definitely, definitely. I wish they did more with the human zoo and Steven Universe. Yeah, did they? I did, did they reference it in the finale or in future? I feel like they referenced it without really like saying much about it. I don't know. It's kind of interesting because, you know, the people at the zoo like I'm not sure they could just really integrate in with society anymore. I think three episodes is the number to be an arc. I mean, it depends on how you call it. A three three episodes is maybe just a three parter, which I guess you could consider an arc. It really it, it depends on how you consider. Ooh, pumpkins. Oh, and we so we are also nope. We have to go this way, and this way. Yeah. Okay. Hi ho adventure. They return in future briefly in the Rosebuds episode. Right, right. I just, yeah, I don't. I gotta rewatch Future. I'm not sure that I have really. I think I watched it. I think I rewatched it right after it all like finished com coming out. But I don't know that I've rewatched it since then. Shadow still never watched it. He keeps he keeps saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch it," and then he doesn't watch it. And I'm just like, all right, buddy. But if, if like a spoiler slips out or something, that's on you. Yeah, he was, he was, we were talking about Steven Universe the other day and he was saying something about some, I think White Pearl. And I, I'm like, I, I think I almost called her uh, volleyball, but then it was just like, oh wait, no, I can't say that. I mean, I don't know if you'd really consider that a spoiler, but. Hope you all like going through trees. <laughs> uh, let's see. It always helps if spawn is uh, just, or if if the general, not the general hangout zone, but if the uh, the general build zone is near zero zero. Oh wow, a uh, is that a? Hang on, what is that over there? Oh no, that's just ice. I thought it was an undersea temple above the sea. Man, where am I? Huh. I don't know, the horse might be holding me back. You know what, I'm just gonna grab... No, no, I can't abandon the horse. I won't do it. I won't do it. Um... What I want. I guess we can. Yeah, we can head this way for a little bit. The volleyball and fragments are the best uh, future episodes. Yeah, they're pretty good from from my memory. I still can't believe they ended the one with the with the <laughs> basic with the Sonic says. Do arcs even necessarily have to be sequential? 
N no, it depends on... I mean, no. <laughs> I don't think so. But I also don't know that there's a... a oh, dear. A textbook definition of what an arc has to be. It's just kind of like a loose, a loosely used term. Oh, this... Alright. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 can't, I don't know what to do, buddy. I can't get you out of here. It's too much work. I gotta leave. All right, it's gonna be okay. Y you're fine. It's not gonna be fine. Uh, crystal gems don't get much focus in season five, or even change your mind. Yeah, well, the show had just kind of like the scope of the show had gotten too big, and since you can't have an episode without Steven, every episode's got to be about him in some way. If we find another horse, we can we can ride that. <laughs> Feel bad leaving Bojack behind, but you know what? It's just life. Bojack has to end sometime. It's also getting dark if anyone wants to sleep. Uh, would Lion 1 through 3 plus Rose the Scabbard be an arc? I mean, probably. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Oh, you know what I saw? I saw, um, I finally saw What If. I don't know if I talked about it, but the, I saw the fourth episode yesterday, um, when it came out. I won't spoil anything, but what I will say is that although I liked the story, I kind of felt like the acting and, and maybe the writing, like the dialogue was a little, a little hokey. Like, Benedict Cumberbatch is great, but I don't know that he brought his A-game, to be honest. But I don't. I also don't know that it was him because it might have just been because some of the dialogue was like just cheesy. Like, like it's hard to deliver a line like "No, I'm so sorry. How could I have done this?" Like, it's it's hard to say things like that and not have them come off as corny. Um, oh, I didn't mean to reload all chunks there. All right, now we gotta go. This way? Yeah, this way. Guess we were going the wrong way. Um. But yeah, I, I generally enjoyed the story. I just, I don't know. I, I thought it was a little... It's like... It's just, it's just hard to say. It's hard to say lines like that with a straight face. But what if in general is is real solid. I, I highly recommend it. Um, the uh, the art's really cool in it too. The sometimes when the characters are just standing around talking, it looks a little little weird, like their mouth movements or the way their head moves. Like it looks a little off. But in general, the animation looks great, especially for the fight scenes. I watched What If on Disney Plus. Yeah, where else would you watch it? Disney Minus? I don't think so. <laughs> What's that off in the... Oh, just a tree. Just a tree. Just a tree loading in slowly. Can arcs be sequential? Adventure Time enters the chat. Oh no, don't drown. Yeah, Adventure Time will tell you a story over the course of eight years. <laughs> uh, I don't know, how, lo how loud is my space bar? It might be a little too loud based on where my mic is. Ooh, man. Huh. You're certainly having a day there, Ample. What was my reaction when I found out pink rose was pink diamond? <gasps> I I think I did a video about that. Oh no, that video actually is probably gone. But um I was I was surprised, certainly. Like I've heard the theories, but I thought it was I thought it was a very well done twist. I hate horses. Come here, Hollyhock.
my new horse. Ooh, she's got a lot of life. Hey. You guys remember that uh, Minecraft episode of South Park where the kids all set their, um, like, their parents' TiVo to a question about Minecraft so that they would stop watching, uh, like, murder shows? Um, but the thing that never makes any sense about that episode is that the password that the kids put was, how do you tame a horse in Minecraft? when there's no way you could write that in like one word right because the way you tame a horse in minecraft is like i just did you gotta right click on it and then you get kicked off and then you right click again and then you get kicked off. oh but you have to do it with a bare hand you can't do it with something in your hand and then uh and then you gotta put a saddle on it is this like an abandoned town spooky i don't think i've ever seen any of this yeah, it never, you really get the feeling that Matt and Trey did not, um, didn't watch, didn't know anything about Minecraft. It's kind of like the opposite of the World of Warcraft episode. Because, yeah, I don't know how you would make that a, a password. Wow, this is real weak. I don't know if someone was already here, or I guess I'll just take these. Jokes were decent. I don't really remember much about the episode. Um, I did find it funny that the parent that the kids were worried because their parents were getting like really into these shows about murder and murdering your spouses and stuff. Like I thought that was funny, but the Minecraft part of it, I didn't it didn't really ring true for me. Ooh, we will take that. Yep, I agree, Mac. <laughs> You had the twist ruined for you? Oh no, Rose being pink diamond? Was it like leaks or something? Was it a certain YouTuber who put uh, spoilers in their thumbnails? <laughs> Whoa, gosh. Joke with the cable company was good. Um, all right, so I'm a little, I'm a little stranded. I not maybe not stranded, but I'm a little ways away from home base here. But uh, unfortunately, I have to go. Everyone, thank you for joining me for this very short stream. Um, let me dig a little hole for my horse so he doesn't you go anywhere. Um, cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me for a short stream. This was real fun. Sorry, I didn't have much time. Um, yeah, I've still, you know, things are, as the seasons change, my schedule changes, so I gotta figure out uh, when the right times to stream are. So, uh, yeah, with that, I hope you guys had fun. Um, I might see you again this weekend, I might not. So, with that, Pagai Rules, out.